hey you guys what's up this is going to be the first of this year's halloween looks this theme is all about sexy curvy girl halloween looks so everything is about sexy no gory no none of that we're not even doing too much face paint but um yeah we're gonna hop right on into it this is from the title this is a, a bad bitch bunny costume period um so yeah this is a baddie of all trades type of bob we do fashion hair nails makeup all of that good stuff if you're interested in that subscribe hit the bell for notifications comment down below share this video with your friends give this video a big kiss you already know let's hop right into the costume let's hop right into the costume Okay, so we've already done our base, as you can see, the base of the costume. I was going back and forth if I wanted to do Playboy, if I wanted to do really more bunny style. I decided to do more bunny style just to have some fun with the makeup, especially since it's the first look of Halloween. So we're going to start with our eyes. We're going with the P. Louise base. And this is the Rumor 2. And I'm just going to prime my lids. I'm looking down because here's my mirror, so you know, I gotta be able to sing. And for my makeup, I did my regular everyday base because we just need the makeup done. And there's no need for me to come on camera and show you guys that base that I do every day. We're probably going to use this palette all Halloween because it just has every color I need. Um, and honestly, I'm trying to get rid of it because I paid for it and it's just not what it is anyway so we're not gonna get into it mm, but we're gonna do a bunch of pink so we're gonna probably stay in this area we're gonna stay in this area right here when it comes to the colors um i'm definitely gonna start with this lightest pink as the transition color Going with that bright pink color as the next color underneath. So you want to kind of bring out that V you're gonna do your makeup how I'm doing it I want to do a full uh, cut crease I haven't done a full cut crease in oh god probably since last Halloween job I don't really do them often anymore um, just because I don't really do makeup that wasn't really my moment like all that makeup eye stuff I'm really the fashion kind of girl but we can definitely always slay a face okay so I'm going in with this like deep eggplant pinkish color purple I'm trying to create a really pretty gradient before I get into the darkest purple I want to use. So I'm going to take this one in really slow. And now we're going in with this deepest purple color. We're staying right in that little corner with our colors today. Once I have that blended the way I wanted to, I'm going to go back in with the other color. Like I just go back and forth with the colors just to create that gradient and just to make sure it's looking nice and blended. So that's what I'm doing right now. And after we do that, we just go ahead and we cut our crease. So that's my cut crease and we're going to do the same thing to the other side. The other side is always harder. I mean, they're sisters, not twins, but you want to make sure their sisters look alike. You know what I'm saying? Like they still have the same mom, same dad. 
You don't want them to look like, you know, friend sisters. <laughs> Okay, so now that I did my cut crease with the lid, I'm gonna go in with this lightest pink again because I'm going to be putting glitter on the lid and I just want something to kind of just like see that peekaboo color so it's not like just on top of that uh, light, light base. It has like a little pink underneath it and that also helps the glitter pop as opposed to using, I could have just used my pink P. Louise base but it's honestly somewhere where I didn't feel like going be honest with you so I'm just gonna use this pink here but I'm gonna take my um, eyelash glue um, if you have glitter glue that is better but um, I ran out of glitter glue and because I don't use glitter anymore I didn't buy any in time so we're gonna go this way now if your eyes are hooded I would do one eye at a time and what I'm doing right now is just trying to keep my eye as open as possible you guys and the reason why is because I don't want it to get stuck together. I want that glitter to get all over. So you want to keep your eye up. I'm going to look weird for a second, but it's totally worth it. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to go in with the glitter and just start packing it on. You want to press it in. Oop. Try not to get it on my face, but I do have powder on my face, but you want to press it in like that. This is actually really pretty. I love that it has that green in it. Wasn't expecting that. So I had already kind of started it off camera and I didn't like the way it was looking so I kind of redid this. Um, I kept these eyebrows because um, it was just turning too tan. I felt like I put too much. I wanted to keep it a little bit more consolidated. So um, I'm using the Marron Clown White. Um, it's going to turn tan. I do know that but um, I'm okay with it kind of turning a little tan since I'm brown. Um, but I'm just going to take a clean brush to dab it just under my lip to like my smile line. See? So I only want the white here. So once I have it like in the where I want it, which I do love where it is now, I'm just gonna put a little more product on top just to try to get it more white. Looks like I have a huge milk mustache, <laughs> but we're gonna fix it. Of course, we're gonna fix it. Um, I'm gonna go in with the same thing I use the brushes to do uh, this here, and I'm just gonna go out with this. Line the brush things that I do here, and I'm just gonna flick it out before I add any more product. Okay, so I'm going to use this same brush and I'm just going to go in with some new product and I'm just going to take it above the nose.
All right, so once we do that, I'm going to go in with the lightest pink that we used on our eyes. And I'm just gonna put that all over this white. Okay, so now that I have that done, um, I'm gonna go in with a black liner. Um, this is the black liner I always use and I'm just gonna outline that. And I'm gonna close it. I'm just gonna kind of leave it open ended and I'm gonna take that line down the center. Like so. Oh, I got the sniffles, you guys. I'm trying not to sniffle on this. And then I'm gonna put some dots. Um, I think I'm gonna go and do another line here. Okay, so after I'm done with that, I'm actually gonna go in with the brown lippy. I'm gonna do my top lip right underneath. So after that, then I'm gonna go in with this pink and go all over my lip. And into that brown. I actually put too much of this pink, but I'm gonna let it dry and put some more brown. Okay, so I actually really like the way this came out. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my face. Um, if you hear kids stuff in the background, I had to bring the baby inside here with me she is up so please excuse the background noise you guys if it's too loud when I'm hearing it back I'll go ahead and um and cut it out and do a voiceover so I'll try not to talk too much from here on out and we're going in with purple dreams from artist couture highlight Okay, you guys, so I'm going to go put on my lashes and the fix my hair and put on the costume because we're pretty much done. But before we go, I want to show you the costume. So we have a one piece. Um, and it comes with piece, two arm pieces, a headband, a bunny tail, and then um, a fishnet tights so we're gonna throw all that stuff on and when we come back we're gonna be slayed you guys guys here is the final look we got our costume on kind of did this one a little backwards but that's okay um it's super cute um it's giving very much chipping dales um very much um like i don't know not playboy but very 
I love it. It's super cute. Um, I'm going to do a full body um, on the screen. I'll show it to you guys so you can see how I look. And I'll show you some pictures and stuff like that. But it um, fits kind of good. It's a little bit too big for me. But um, the, the, the tights are too small. But the bodysuit is kind of big. Um, but it is what it is. This is how it looks. The bodysuit. I have never worn a Halloween costume like this to be honest with you guys like but I'm super excited for you guys to see so yeah you guys thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it um if you're gonna be a bunny I'll link this costume down below just remember you might need your own fishnet tights um because they don't fit too well at all like they ripped as soon as I got them on um but it's okay though um thank you guys so so much for watching don't forget to join that flower gang 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 by liking commenting sharing and subscribing to my channel hope to see you guys in my next video bye